This was to be my home for the next three days. Pretty off the grid, huh? A village that isn't even named on Google Maps. I've been to Morocco a couple of times before, but never to a place as remote and as local as this one. A friend of a friend had arranged for me to stay with her family there. They're an Amazigh family, though the world knows them better as Berbers. And as soon as guests come to visit, the tea begins to flow. Let me show you guys around this beautiful traditional village house. This right here, this is the courtyard. It's kind of structured like a traditional Moroccan riad with a central space in the middle where people can gather. Up there, that is the hospitality room. So you have to go up these stairs, very, very narrow. This room is dedicated to welcoming guests. There are carpets all along the walls. This is where tea and meals would be served. And this right here, this is the traditional straw and wood ceiling. Absolutely beautiful. Some of these ceilings are over a hundred years old. So that was the guest room, the hospitality room. Now I'm gonna shut this beautiful blue door behind me. And I'm gonna show you this part of the house. Here we are. <laughs> On the other side of the courtyard, there is a storage room. You enter it through a tiny little door, just like this. Whoop! <laughs> if you can squeeze through, I barely can. These are some of the utensils that the family store for general housekeeping and cooking. There is a single window, a single tiny little window like this ensures that the entire room stays cool. For the families who live here during scorching hot Moroccan summers, a room like this would have been an absolute blessing, completely indispensable, because it would have allowed them to store their food in the cold, in the cool and fresh for much, much longer. <laughs> Ça va? And over here, this apparently is the chicken section of the house. It's been a really cold night, which I spent under about four layers of blankets. It's really cold here in these mountains and there's nothing like central heating. These things don't exist here, so blankets is all you've got. I hear sounds coming from the kitchen, so I better go and check out the breakfast situation. Look, we have an unexpected guest. <laughs> Aww. I found myself falling in love with this landscape and this family. They don't have it easy up here. Not many jobs, no infrastructure. They are a very modest family and yet they've decided to welcome me, a foreign guest, someone that they simply don't know. I was told that the Amazigh people are proud of their hospitality. Confirmed. There is one more spot I need to show you and that is the kitchen. And trust me, local Amazigh food is something you cannot miss. We spent an entire afternoon cooking up a traditional mountain feast. If you're curious to see what we cooked up, make sure you like this page and check out the next episode of the series.